hey, I'm going to take some time and do something. I No real amount of talking about it is going to like drill home any kind of points. I think I've I've seen it much more clearly, the relationship between the HIV virus and the AIDS syndrome. There is no AIDS virus, by the way. I've heard people intermixing the words HIV and AIDS, and there is no AIDS virus. A AIDS is a acquired immune deficiency syndrome when the body is like a sinking ship, when the body's sprung a hole and is just on its way down. People assume that that's irreversible process because that's what the medical community's told us. But I think it's reversible. I think that the body can die or heal at any given moment based on what we know. If we believe we're dying, then our body will die. There's no AIDS virus. Please let that, if, if that's something that you've said, the AIDS virus, the AIDS, you can't catch AIDS. You can't, that's not how it works. There's a virus going around called an immunodeficiency virus, a human immunodeficiency virus, which is the HIV. That is real. And I made an, a video a little while ago about HIV and AIDS called Untying the Knot, and it, I, I said some extremely ignorant things in it, which I want to debunk right now, because I only agree with some of what I said, and I was it was like I was stumbling in the dark. So I'm going to play the video. I wonder if the fact that I'm not wearing a shirt dissuade you from watching this video because I made so, so many other shirtless videos and the, the videos start to blend together visually and you get bored with them. Which I hope doesn't happen because there are di very different messages in each one. HIV does not cause AIDS. That's an extreme statement and I believe HIV can weaken the immune system, that it is real, a real virus, and it can weaken, it's the whole, apparently what it does is weaken the immune system. It's not necessarily AIDS, but it is a virus that the body produces white blood cells to counteract. You can have HIV and be 20 years living without acquiring any kind of AIDS disease because your body is is successfully fighting the virus. Things like AZT, I, I'm just gonna, I, I guess this is effective. I don't, we don't even know what HIV looks like. We do know what HIV just looks imagine like. imagine if they haven't seen it. We have seen they it. You can imagine what it looks like. When you it's get an HIV virus. test done, they're just looking for white blood cells in a T There's three cell types cell. of HIV, t there's three tiers of HIV tests. T cell count is lower than one of them is a search for antibodies, another one is a search for a T cell level, and then the other one is... Call it HIV. And then you believe you have HIV. There's a third one too. And you live that it's, life. It's a real virus and they're told that can HIV be transmitted the through the blood. Is, is a, the probable cause of AIDS, and there's no research to back it up. So there is, it's, a, it's related, which is why they said that it, it is the cause, why some, some guy came forward, uh, I should really get his name and put it up. There's a video of them at this press conference in 84, and the woman that is saying, is talking about the viruses, starts to say that there's, they found the cause of AIDS, that it's a virus, and she starts saying the name of the virus and then stumbles over it. It's like H13 something, some technical letters and numbers, and she fucks it up. She, she doesn't know what she's talking about. That's why. She doesn't understand. So then she, she stumbles over it. This is the introduction of the cause of AIDS in our culture. She stumbles over it, explaining it. It's that, it's that not thought out. It's, it's not, they didn't know for sure. They saw it, they saw a relation to it, and then they went public and saying, this is it, because they thought the public wants to know what it is. We can find a cure for this if we focus on the cause. So they came out with, this is the cause. Find a vaccine, find a medicine that will kill HIV, and you will kill AIDS. So they started giving people AZT to kill this HIV virus, and it was, it is, it does kill the HIV virus, but it fucks the body up in the process so harshly. This medicine, yeah, it kills HIV virus, but it's also whacking your body, which is why these people are getting so sick that are taking these hard medicines. I think that your body can get HIV virus and can fight it off, can develop the antibodies to fight it off and then be fine and survive and continue on. It's probably been happening for thousands of years. 
and we just never really started documenting it. There are people that get HIV that live for, for a normal lifestyle. Now, if this is a virus that causes AIDS, how is that possible? That people can't contract it? And like most viruses, there's an incubation period of a couple weeks where either your body will develop the white blood cells to fight it off, or you will develop the illness, or you will see that you never, never had it in the first place. HIV, however, can reside in the system for years and years and years and years, and no other harm will come because it's just, it's just a virus. It's just a simple virus. It's not, it's just one other piece of the puzzle that can cause your body to fall into this sinking ship mode of, of what we have started to call AIDS, these, all these different diseases. HIV can weaken the system, as well as hard drugs and, and starvation and dehydration and lack of sleep. So you put all these things together, if you're fucking a lot, and then you, you contract another virus that's weakening your system, in addition to your lack of sleep and your dehydration, you might get pneumonia, and then they're going to call that AIDS. But if you have a healthy lifestyle and you contract a virus, it's not necessarily going to give you AIDS. There's a, there's a way of living that we can promote health in our bodies. I want to promote that. I'm getting a little off track. I'm going to continue on. No. All right, Ian. You it's fucking stress. Evil It's fear. People, AIDS, 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 these, these private companies have been, they, in 87 they said, they made a press release, this PR campaign did this press release saying that I'm everyone can be affected my hands. by AIDS. Heterosexual people can be affected by AIDS because it was just this, it was this epidemic in the gay culture in the mid-80s, but it was only an epidemic because people just had started studying it. It seemed like an epidemic because people started seeing it. There were no doctors that knew about it in 83 too. And then by 85, 200 or 500. So of course there's going to be a lot more reported cases of it because there were a lot more people testing it. Test now, I'm going to explain what I'm talking about here. It's with an epidemic or an infectious disease, when it's introduced into a culture, if you look on a, on a bar graph of how many people are infected over a certain amount of time, it will, it will curve up and you will see an infection period where a lot of people get it in a, in a very in a very short duration of time and you'll see it go up and then all those you know then something will happen but that never happened with hiv and aids the either of them H, the reported so, cases uh, of we'll say hiv infection the, it, it, it didn't increase or aids either one neither one of them increased at, at the rate of an epidemic they both increased or hiv uh, diagnosis Increased at like a, a at like a uh, there's a word for it a very leveled right. pace like every year you would see this many more and that would continue and continue and continue as if it was just growing in number based on how many people were going and checking out if they had it you kept seeing more and more and more and more and still it's like going up at a steady pace more and more and more and more and that's because it's not a it's not an epidemic. It's just a, it's just an illness. It's just a disease. I'm talking about HIV virus. It's just a virus. It's it's not like somehow a super 